tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello folks, you can reproduce this tutorial in Maya version number one, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's been there since version number one, and that's NURPS modeling. And I'll show you something very simple, which should point you into the direction of what you can do, what you can achieve with very little effort using intelligently chosen curves. The curves are here, curves and surfaces in blue. Under polygon modeling you find surfaces, but no curves. The curves are something which have to do with the NURBS world. We create um, a circle which lands in the center of the scene and what we do now is we hover the mouse over here the, over the perspective window, press briefly press the space bar and go to the top window which uh, is reachable by pressing the space bar briefly again. Now we have this circle here and when you go to make nerve circle you see that it has eight sections. Let's increase this by 12, this is just an experience thing. Um, and uh, I scale it up a little bit like this. And this is our first circle. We'll create, well, a handful. Now we duplicate it. Control D. Here in the outline you see NURB circle number two has appeared. And I scale this down like this. And I move it a little bit to the top. Now I duplicate it again. And I scale it down in this dimension. And like this and I move it slightly to the top again. Duplicate it again. Now it's circle number four. Make it much smaller. Duplicate it again. I'll leave it more or less like this. I duplicate it yet again and now I press F in order to get close to this curve and I press F8 in order to get the component selection. And in the components I want to do this. I choose these two and I move them forward and I use this one and move it back. Now I use these ones again and I scale them more or less to the middle and I select these two and scale them further in as well. Now I have six circles. This is a six one and uh, I don't want to copy this because of the odd structure. Uh, so I copy the fifth circle which is this one and I just duplicate it with Control D and I scale it down and Control D now I have the eighth circle and I make this more or less round and much smaller and I duplicate it yet again now this is the ninth circle and uh, I'm done I'm not changing anything here now with the mouse hovering over the top Y window I press briefly press the space bar briefly press the space bar and I'm in the perspective view now the first one is this one this is how we started and um, I choose the second one and I move it up like this the third one even further up uh, have a look here and the fourth one even further up fifth one the sixth one is the one with the sort of odd structure and then we have this one circle number eight and circle number nine. So I have uh, them arranged in, well, in the pattern how I created them, more or less. Now I select them all in order. The order is important uh, and just to make sure you can um, select them with the control key, one after the other, or in the perspective view you can do it as well. And now I go to this icon, it's the loft, you find it under surfaces loft as well. If you don't see that surfaces menu here, you need to go to modeling. 
there are other options here but modeling is because we're modeling something and with all these uh, curves selected nine of them we now create a dress now the dress um, is a little bit strange and uh, very simple of course and that is because the circles need to be rearranged you cannot model the arms with uh, the NURBS topology you need to model extra objects maybe from a cylinder or with other curves and then combine these two surfaces or three surfaces together uh, this has to do with the topology of the NURBS world I just want to show you finally I pick the bottom one and I select the CVs every second CV and now I scale them down and you see this dress gets quite interesting now I can do the same with this one I think you get my point this dress of course needs shading and the light and maybe a character but uh, this is just so simple we have nine curves and a lofted surface and it looks like an old-fashioned dress in this case you can create all kinds of things like coffee machines with this uh, methodology where do I get my texture from well for example from substance the fabric section is very nice and very cool and as a student who studies this you can have access free to substance alchemist which is the software I'm using for texturing this dress have a nice day bye bye Thank you.